What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and one of my more crazier ideas on this channel. I had an idea a few days ago, what would it take to mine cryptocurrency on an iPhone? Oh, hey, you're not mining, get back to it. So, I assembled every working iPhone, literally anything I can get my hands on that's 64 bit or higher to mine coins for me. These are my personal little slaves here. And because of a new app released by Elias Limnius, uh, it is now possible to mine cryptocurrency of your choice on an iPhone. So that includes the one I'm mining, Electronium, Monero, uh, there's many different types. It has to be on a certain platform in order to mine it, but Bitcoin support uh, is coming soon or supposedly I heard. So in this video, I wanted to answer the burning question, is it worth mining cryptocurrency on an iPhone, on a spare iPhone you may have, just leave it on overnight? Uh, what kind of gains can you expect? What kind of performance negatives from your device can you expect? It's just a very interesting idea I had and after putting it to the task, it's, uh, it's interesting. I mean, the results I have for you are gonna be interesting. Now I have like 60, 70 devices here, and uh, you can do this on any device that's 64 bit or higher. That means an iPad, an iPhone, your iPod Touch, sixth generation, as well as an Apple TV as well. You can mine coins on an Apple TV. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know what cryptocurrency is, it's online money. You're exchanging US dollars for a currency that's valued by people uh, online. They invest their money into it, trade uh, their US dollars into it, and that gives it value so you can buy things online with it. Bitcoin being one of the ancestors, the bigger ones, you can uh, invest into smaller ones. Electronium, for example, it's worth about nine, 10 cents right now for one coin. Uh, and make purchases online with it. And there is so much you know, to talk about, to go down that rabbit hole into cryptocurrencies. I personally am heavily invested in them. I own a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of Ripple, XRP, uh, XRB, Ryblox, 100% would recommend you guys buy that. Uh, it's really awesome cryptocurrency with a big future. So. It's, it's a big thing and everything is moving towards it. So in order to do it on your phone, you guys can do it. Is it worth it? So let's talk about those specifics right now and I'll show you how to do it if you want to. All right, so what you guys are seeing here is a collection of the fastest and slowest devices I have. Back there is the slowest row, iPhone 5S and iPhone 6. And we'll get into hash rates here in a second if you guys understand those specifics. But basically an iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 at mining this coin is the same, the power. The 5S can even be advantageous to over the iPhone 6. It's weird how similar those are. The iPhone 6S is a very good powerhouse. It actually gets a solid 25, 30 uh, hashes per second, so that's pretty great. Uh, the iPhone 10 is probably one of the best, so uh, let me raise the brightness on this guy, but uh, we've got 65 hashes per second, and that is pretty powerful. I mean, that's an A11 for you, the fastest CPU on a smartphone right now, so it definitely shows in this program. Second to the iPhone 10 power-wise is gonna be the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. They get a solid 65 as well, even though they're running the A10X Fusion chip, which is supposedly slower than the iPhone 10, but still it does very well. So basically this is the application right here. It's called the Mobile Miner. You put in your address where it's gonna send the coins, and with this again, you can mine different types, uh, whatever you want really, but for the money, for the power draw, Electronium is gonna be one of the most, or the more profitable. And Anyways, so anyways, the way it works is you put that in, you put in your address and you start mining. And this thing basically runs your CPU to 100% until the battery dies. Or if you've got it plugged in, then not too bad. It'll just run at 100%. It won't really affect the battery. So that's one positive. It won't affect the battery if it's plugged in. Uh, is it worth it though? We're gonna get into that in a second here. I just wanna show you guys what kind of power you can expect from different devices. So on an iPhone 10, I'm getting a really low hash rate right here, 18 per second, but on these usually I can expect around 35. Uh, here's another example, so getting about 33 or so. And um, I've been running these for a couple days, actually three days already, and you know, they're all right. I can't say it's affecting them negatively, but if you did this uh, just with your battery power, then you know, I, I wouldn't recommend it with that. Uh, the iPhone 8 series, it gets a solid uh, 55 to 60, so a little bit less than the iPhone 10 for some reason, but still pretty good. So I would recommend it on the newer devices, I guess, if you uh, wanted to try this out. I'll show you how in just a second. All right guys, take a seat because you will not be ready for the gains. With all of these soldiers here working for me, mining 24 seven overnight, some of them just stop mining once in a while. I don't understand why, it's like the uh, program's bugged but mostly it's pretty reliable. But with all of these, say 65 iOS devices mining at the same time, what kind of gains can I expect? 
Um, I'm getting a total hash rate of about 1,800 hashes per second. Uh, for some perspective, that's about two NVIDIA 1080 Ti's working side by side, a little bit more than that. And uh, this costs, I don't know, this is like most of my iPhone collection right here. And uh, the price, oh man, where would I put this? I don't know, 20 to 40 grand, 20 to 30 grand. Uh, let's just say $40,000 versus a rig that would cost you like $1,000, $1,200. It's quite a difference, right? And uh, with that hash rate, say 1800 on a calculator, and this is without calculating how much energy it's taking to charge these and uh, run them 24 seven, I would be making $7 and 94 cents a day. So it doesn't sound bad actually, $8 a day with all these devices I don't use on a daily basis, just sitting there and mining uh, per month, that'd be $238. So that's just clean profit. But without uh, considering the power draw, uh, maybe I throw in like $50 for that. So I'd still be coming clean about $200 a month, $190. Uh, but I don't know, is it worth it? Is it worth it to you guys? If you had all these devices, would you leave them on and uh, maybe burn out the CPU? I don't even know if that's possible in something like this because most of us aren't using our iPhones to the max CPU power literally 24 seven. So the viability of this is debatable. For some people, sure it'd be worth it. On one iPhone, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. One Electronium coin is basically 10 cents right now. And sure, it might go up in the future and that's why you would mine this is the uh, prospect of it going up in the future. That'd be great. But nobody knows, you know? And it would take a very long time to mine one coin. I think like two days on a regular phone, a day and a half or so, just nonstop mining. So it's really up to you guys if you'd wanna do that. But it is possible to make some money doing this. and. A year of these just sitting nonstop plugged in would be $2,900. And I've made pretty close there in terms of actual returns. Now there's more factors. If you're mining in a pool, it depends on how long it takes to find the block before it's split up to everybody mining towards it. So there are some factors here, but the end result is that you can make money. It's not a lot, but it seems to be okay for a spare device that you would have laying around. I would definitely not recommend this on an iPhone 6 or below. It's just, unless it's a device you don't need and you just leave it on there permanently because the hash rate of 10 hashes per second is extremely low and you know it's questionable as to whether or not it's worth it. But uh, with all of these devices together, I'm getting almost 2000 hashes per second and that's pretty formidable. I just don't know if it'd be economically viable unless you have like solar panels and free energy coming in uh, but uh, yeah there you go guys so I'm gonna show you guys how to install this just to try it out but in general I would say I would recommend each and every one of you guys drop a couple hundred bucks into cryptocurrency it's the future it's a learning process and it's just something that you could potentially make some money in the future on and if you were to ask me about which ones to invest in I would recommend IOTA XRP XRB would be my number one a right block recommendation Bitcoin I don't know it just seems uh, sketchy right now. I don't know. Uh, I'm in it for a while, but it's been rocky and the fees are high. So the feasibility of it, eh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you just drop a couple hundred bucks and see where it takes you. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how to install this. All right. So if you guys want to go ahead and try mining outs for yourselves, the future on your phone, you can do that using Mobile Miner by uh, Elias Limnios, and you can get it on App Valley. Dot VIP. So I'll leave a link down below in the description. And oh man, all these devices are uploading to my uh, network right away. So I guess it's making my network pretty slow. All right, so this is the site you'll get. So go ahead and install App Valley Beta and uh, you'll get an application on your device in a second here. Just like that. Before you open it, you do have to jump in into general, go down to profiles and device management and go ahead and select uh, App Valley and trust the source. I've already done that. So I can go back to it, scroll down, and you will see uh, Mobile Miner in here. So go ahead and click on it and uh, select Get. And uh, you'll open up this application and let me stop it for a sec. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you first get in here. You don't mess with the pool unless you specifically know what you're doing. If you wanna change the pool to a different website, you can do that. I just use the default and uh, you wanna make an Electronium account and it'll give you a code as to where to send the Electronium and uh, put in your passcode from that account. So in the actual configurations, you can set the threads. On an iPhone 10, I just left it at four and it worked just fine. You can set it higher if you want. 
that's basically uh, affecting the performance of it. You can also keep this running in the background, but your device will be hot and using its CPU everywhere. So do consider that it will greatly reduce the life of your battery. So uh, yeah, and go ahead and start mining and you'll know it's working when you have a hash rate and it's accepting the hashes and sending it to the pool. So that's how it works. It's very simple. Now you just leave it on an iPhone 10. It starts around 80 hashes per second and then drops down to about an average of 65, I would say, which is still very good for a mobile device. On a fastest Snapdragon 835, you'd get like 35, 40 hashes per second. So that's almost double the performance there. It's awesome, guys. Uh, is it viably worth it? That's up to you, but still, it was a very interesting project. I got every single one of my devices out and configured to this. It was quite a collaborative effort uh, to do this, man. It was it was not easy. But with every spare device, I am making around $300 a month, which is not bad, I'd say. Still, it's not that great if you're only doing it on one device. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Cryptocurrency, definitely would recommend you guys sink some money in there. Do your research, of course. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Peace.